So hello everyone, welcome back to this tutorial about creating a game from uh, scratch to the final product with advertisements and publishing it in Google Play Store. So today I will try to address one of the issues we have with um, physics engines and actually we will be remaking some code. So um, my advice would be take very um, detailed attention exactly which line and which part of the code we actually changing it's a bit different it's a different approach uh, compared to when we're writing a new script and you giving your own um, variable names etc etc so first of all the theory behind the theory behind um, the problem at the moment what is happening so we have a, a screen this is a, your uh, let's say view and then you have a platforms we have a platforms which one is you know um, randomly generated gaps etc we have a different even we have a different uh, size of gaps etc etc and then we have a ball yep um, nothing new here nothing special compared to the last our uh, lessons yeah now the problem is that it we have two threads working um, working on a motion and we have a one thread we have a one thread oh not uh, i'll do it. I'll put it this way i'll put it this way so we have a uh, one thread working on physics engines so it is uh, our physics i just put p letter let's put just p letter for physics and so physics are actually um you know working out your gravity working out our um, uh, bounciness we, we created a bounciness physics um what's it called the file i can't remember what's called it um it's called mat physics material 2d the, 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 the file where um, we can define the bounciness and frictions so all that physics um, all of that i mean just two physical parameters so the problem is that we have another engine uh, our main core, which one calculates and moves our platforms up. I know we used a some uh, f fixed update, etc., etc. But it is some rare occasions that the ball goes in a certain speed, and when it should collision to take a place, the the our main core actually moves a platform up, and because our main core works much faster than physics engine it might, could, could be even two steps moving up so then the physics engine checks any collision the ball is already within uh, platform and no collision happens it just goes through also the bounces only war, war, works on um, 2d because we created 2d um, game on game here the physics engine works on 2d collision enter so from physics engine perspective the ball is already within um platform and doesn't count as physic uh, sorry um, uh, what's it called trigger enter or collider enter it counts as it is within within object already so yeah, yeah that, that's a one very small uh, thing very what's it called very briefly to explaining one of the problems we could tackle this problem in many ways we can tackle this problem in many ways we can uh, make sure that all the course works the same we can even to, to, in, instead of the transform position changing of the platforms we should to translate the platform so the translation happens and it should include the physics but it has a second problem, which one I was thinking for a few weeks now, and I could not come up with a solution. And regardless of this physics problem, the problem which one I want, an, an issue or challenge you can call it, I want to say is this. So the ball normally, and uh, um, let's say if, if it would be, uh, what's it called? Um, normally the ball expectation behavior is this, the ball bounces and bounces back. Yep, that's really nice. And because we put 80%, we, we literally, the physics engine says, like, you you just lost a 20% of the height original it came. Yeah, happy days. Very simple, very, very, very thoughtful. So that means we raised 80% of our height. Then we bounced from this. 
and the, this main problem which I'm start thinking is about the actually platform is moving up. It's not ball going down. You know, that actually what we made, we make some illusion. You can call it illusion. We made illusion where a platform goes up and uh, the, for a player, it looks like all the world goes down and a, a platform is stable. So we create this illusion for a player, but actually what's happening, it, it, we, as we know, the platforms goes up. And if a, uh, if a platform is going up, yeah, uh, so the ball balances back, we definitely, we definitely won't have, we will not have 80% of the height as we expected. Because while the ball go, uh, travels up, the platform travels up also. And, you know, when the ball reaches the highest peak point, the platform will be maybe around here, maybe. You know, let's say, let's assume it's uh, let's assume it's uh, reaches about this height. So uh, ac accidentally, we just had a fifty percent of our bounciness instead of eighty expected. And now look about now think what's happened if the platform is moving nearly the same speed, uh, velocity the the ball has. So I, I was playing game a bit and I reached you know um, change the code to to reach very high speeds of platform going up and then I saw this problem I was like whoa that, that's really bad because but what's happening is the ball was going down it bounced and literally the peak was this size and then mainly because the platform was going so high up and the ball was go bouncing up but while the ball was going traveling back to sorry the ball was traveling back to 80% somewhere the new location is here the platforms was moving so fast behind it looks like this so if we for demonstration um we can i can demonstrate this one on this this version so let's have a play a, play a bit game yeah oh yeah good 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 let's get uh, more scores even maybe maybe i can show the first problem also if we go fast very fast down it maybe you'll see that one also to where Okay, it's getting faster. I can see the ball start bouncing less and less. Okay. Come on. Give me three free pointers. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a one good one. And regardless, sometimes regardless of the speed, it's, it's, oh, you see, it's now the speed where it looks like the ball is barely jumping uh, from a platform. It bounces and it literally looks like, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't look like it bounces at all. It just flats, you see, and it goes faster and faster and it, the ball is literally bounce and sticks to the platform just because the platform goes fast up and we're losing all. You see, it now it's no bouncing at all. It's just rolling. Okay, yeah, it got bouncing because of the speed. Yeah. But if I just fall one platform, it's no bouncing anymore. It just goes flat. It's actually bounced up. The problem is that um, the platforms also moves up. And that's why it looks like we're not moving it. If a platform starts moving even faster than the ball travel speed, that mean we never bounce back. You yeah, think I think I think we got an idea. Yeah. So this is where we are with a problem. So solution. Solution for both uh just uh for above problems I just um said. Instead of instead of we moving uh instead of we moving platforms up what we need to do is actually to move our camera down. So our all platforms will be stationary. So all, all they are stationary. Oh, wrong color. So all platforms will be stationary. Ball will be working with uh, physics engine. The physics engine will be improved significantly, significantly because the, all the platforms is always the same location. So they not changing location. They are not moving. So they stationary. So uh, physics engine will never skip a what's it called um, 
um, bouncing or uh, going through the object which one is stationary. If it still goes through, we'll, we'll see in the future, I'll do some testing. If we still go through, so we need to uh, dial up a few numbers, but it should not to do that. And just camera will go down. And uh, when camera goes down, we will have the same effect. Yep. But uh, what's a, what's a, what I'm looking for? Uh, it's, it will be having the same effect, but player even don't even have, a, will not feel any difference between, you know, uh, platforms going up or cameras actually going down. And, um, and yeah, we just need to address one more problem uh, when we're doing this. So when I created this game, um, when I was creating this, sorry, when I, uh, I was creating one of the games where the, you fly in um, what's it called in in a galaxy. So when I was making one of the games um, called a spa well just spaceship um, in Unity, it uh, the problem the biggest problem or challenge was um, if you if you try to fly if you try to fly uh, what's it called if you try to fly. Um, a spaceship forwards, uh, it will lead to a problem where you how to how to explain it. If you if you fly your spaceship forwards, you'll reach edge of the world or the very high numbers of your position, which one cannot be uh, executed anymore, and you'll start seeing some artifacts. So when I create this game, I, I approach it with um, technique where instead of you flying forward the world is traveling around you so for a user it feels like he's flying forward but actually it is uh, it is opposite it is the world is keep moving around him and the spaceship is always stationary so that's why i used this technique in our game um you know to to avoid any camera motion camera is always in zero and everything is happening around but because of this two issues I mentioned today, we need to we need to address this, and to not get another problem, just try uh, trying to make it very simple. Um, if the ca how do I say it? So in the first the first attempt we had, let's let's rephrase this one. What I said. And if, at the beginning we had a camera, which one was a at the middle of the at, at the middle of the world. And all the stuff was happening around it, all around it. All the pallets going up and down, the ball is going up and down, the scores, and it, nothing is go went away. Yeah. Now we are actually moving camera down, and it keep keep going down and down and down. So the world positioning of everything will be moving together. Yeah. So that's that's is a problem. And to to following all the unit advice also, you know, we have integer or float more precisely float where we can store our uh, world position and uh, this is happening that a float which one is 32 bits or uh, 8 bytes is only can store from 2 million sorry from 2 billion sorry not million billion billion to uh, minus 2 billion yeah so this is what we're working with the camera should always stay between positive 2 billion uh, in y-axis and negative 2 billion in y-axis to achieve the best results very simple what we need to do is to start our camera position at 2 billion and move towards down Let's make a really quick uh, calculation. Let's say your speed is um, less and more is about uh, five or uh, okay, 10. 10 sp uh, speed of 10 is very, very fast. I, I think uh, reaching 10 is like uh, a main goal because I don't think anyone will be able to play at, at speed 11, etc. So let's assume your speed is 10 per second so your 2 billion 2 billion which one is uh, this is a million and this is a billion 2 billions uh, well actually 4 because it's from 2 to negative 
And it also, by the way, I would like to add, it, I just round up to 2 billion to make it more e easier to do calculation. It's actually 2.4 something something. Uh, yeah, please check it. What is the max value of uh, float? But it is a four, let's, let's make it simple, four billion. Yeah, from positive to negative. And if you're taking, uh, your speed is 10, so let's divide by 10. So one zero is gone. It takes uh, 40,000 seconds to reach uh, a bottom of the screen. So 40,000 seconds, divide by um, 60, get minutes, divide by uh, 60, get hours, divide by 24, get days. Uh, well, you, you, you get it where I'm coming from. It's a, it's a 4,629 days to reach uh, on a maximum speed from a 2 billion to negative 2 billion. I don't think anyone will be reaching, uh, will be playing this game for 4,000 days. Okay. Did I make some mistakes in the calculation? 400,000. Uh, 400,000 divide, this is the seconds, divide by 60, yeah, you get um, minutes, you divide by 60, you get hours, you divide by 24, it's, yeah, okay, 4,629 days to reach this one. So I can safely say that we can start at, uh, if we want to, we can start at 1 billion and 2 billion. Um, Hmm. Yeah, we, we, we definitely, I just thinking maybe we start at one, on one million, on one billion, and we go towards one billion. So it's, it's, it's still 2000 days. It's, it's no way, you know, someone can do that. Um, yeah, let's, let's do half. Let's do, and uh, let's do from one billion. Yeah. One billion to minus one billion. Well, we don't have end point. We don't have end point. If a player wants to play even longer and so for some reason he reached that that day, that point. Uh, let's say even, let's assume the ball uh, gets somehow out of, the, or out of um, our walls and out of the box and start falling somewhere in the screen. It still needs to, to leave the phone for a, a ridiculous time of amount on a table, you know, just to, what's it called, um, just to allow it to fall uh, in empty space to reach these numbers. It will be a ridiculous time. By the way, I just get idea how we can actually tackle this one and to make sure if a, if a player gets out somehow out of our box, if some some reason gets out of his box and start falling in empty space, collecting a lot of, not, not collecting a lot of points, but, uh, you know, traveling a lot of distance, um, we can actually do some anti-cheat techniques to me, not anti-cheat techniques, it's more like foolproof. If, if this happened, we, we can actually address this and, uh, you know, cause some game over or, yeah, you yeah you found a, a bug. Congrats, you pass a game, etc. Okay, let's, let's, uh, let's do this on the script. So, uh, first of all, I hope so, I hope so, I'm not really confident what I explained it just now, uh, but I hope so it have at least something um some some clearance what we're trying to achieve here in in in, in this story um platform update so this is where we updating our platform so we not updating the platform is not moving anymore yep so that's that's first thing and second thing what we need to do is to create a um public public game object don't create a camera object create a game object because camera object is is a camera itself but we want to treat it as a game object we call it cam uh, and the main reason we just because we're moving around we don't want it to move a, a camera itself we want to move a camera object so that's why we go with the object what i mean we can go with this um type of file uh, sort of type of variable of camera but yeah just let's go let's go with the game object and treat treat camera as just normal game object okay and now the public our game uh game object camera uh will and fixed update let's do in the fixed update we'll say that our cam uh trans transform no it's too much dot trans 
transform.position should be um, added by vector free dot down uh, multiplied by we have a speed and we have falling speed so falling speed is normally uh, just really recap uh, so this is a vector down which one is literally uh, which one is li literally a um, zero one zero yeah uh, and because down is ne sorry it's it's negative one and, and y so when we uh, go multiplication we uh, multiply each number uh, from this from this number because it's down when you multiply following speed uh, by zero it will be zero and x negative one so whatever we number have here will go negative one and and z will be zero because anything multiplied by zero equals zero so that's vector down what that that's what it means if you hold your mouse i think yeah if you hold your mouse it's the shorthand of for writing vector zero negative one zero so it's just literally a shortcut okay uh, vector free down multiplied by speed plus falling speed our speed which one increase by level and the falling speed when we reach the bottom of the screen happy days and then we have a multiply by time delta time okay that's that's quite okay that's quite good so far uh, we need to go back to our uh, what's it called our game scene one another problem is that camera moves down our walls our side walls and top walls and trigger point and and game over point must move together so first in the platforms we have wall left wall right wall top wall bottom falling trigger all the stuff we need to add to the main camera so when the main camera is moving, if we can start moving it, yeah, if we can move the camera, you see the ball is still in the same position, but if we move camera, all the balls will be moving together. Okay, that's one thing. Next, we've done some quite a lot of calculations about screen spaces and uh, uh, when the game is over, when the game is not over, etc, etc. And you can see this in two, 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 I think it's checking falling. Yes, to check when it's falling. You see the game ball transform position is compared to get camera wire falling trigger. All this is actually based on ball is uh, sorry camera or our middle of, uh, of the screen is zero zero. To achieve this one, we what we need to do is to 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 what we need to do. Oh yeah, we need to subtract cam dot transform dot position so oh sorry dot y yeah we need to forever ball position is and it will be two million two million five yeah the camera will be positioned two million when we subtract we get five and is a five lower than um i think uh, the three something like this no it's not but you get a picture so whatever ball is in the world position we need to subtract where the, all the screen is, and then we get our zero zero up to screen size um, coordinate coordinators coordinations. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Um, yep, yep. Is there anything I'm missing out now here? So we have this and this. I think we can just um, test it out. Okay, yeah, it's not even moving forward. And the main reason is we forgot to add. So if we go in a manager and we have a platform manager, we have a cam game object. So we need to drag our main camera. Yeah, let's see how it works now. Okay, and the one thing I can see straight away is that our ball actually starts bounce up much uh higher than i expected okay and we have a game over on the bottom so now when the platforms is moving um platforms is actually stationary the ball bounciness is much higher because 
of all the platform is not coming visible up up so um my advice would be to re uh recheck and re-inspect a bounciness number i found that 0 0.7 uh, 10 10% even less uh, was more suitable for me uh, another thing is we need to disable a falling trigger which one is now under the main camera so this falling trigger stopped the ball and um, stopped the ball from falling out and we speed up all the platforms so it looked like a, a ball hanged in the middle of the air hanged in the middle of air for a user for a player it, it become an illusion that the ball is just literally falling very fast and all the platform is just going very fast up uh, because now this platform is going with the ball um what's it called um with the camera down and because all the platform is stationary exactly this part it doesn't um require us anymore um i'm just disabling as an object but not actually uh, deleting the code script. And uh, what I'm talking about is exactly the inside in a, um, it should be gravity ball, uh, sorry, um, script ball. And we have, if it, if, if it collides with a falling trigger, we do, you know, we, we, we remove all the velocities and we do the gravity scale to zero. And if it goes out, we, we simulate a, a bounciness. None of this anymore is the case because all the platforms are stationary. An easy way instead of deleting this one, well, we, you can delete. I just left for uh, for just in case if we need to come back. Um, easy way, I just disabled a falling trigger uh, object itself. Okay. In that case, we need to do a few more things. First, um, falling speed. So. This was great when we, we uh, what's it called, we hang the ball in the middle of the air, but now we need to adjust another thing. In the platform manager, we have a falling, a falling speed, check falling, and now if the ball is below the camera, a falling trigger distance, which one is, is this, so 20% of our screen, um, sorry, no, it's a half, half a screen multiplied by 20%, 20 it means um, 10% 10, 10 of total, of total, 10% um, of total a screen. And I think it's a 0 0.5 multiplied by 0 0.2. Oh, mistake. Uh, something maybe half of uh, 0 0.2 or 20% of 0 0.5. Uh, can't be asked to call it. Uh, oh. Yeah, 10%. I was right. Uh, so, yeah, it's a 10% uh, of the screen. So, this is a falling screen. So, we need to adjust this one to 10 um again play with the numbers what do you think is the best i i, I would just advise to start with the 10 and then you can adjust and the main thing what i want to with you guys to to see must match a max ball speed wire of course you can say well hold on a bit we don't have a max ball speed y and uh, yes we don't uh, we do only have in is it here uh, do, 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 let me think check falling check speed it should be check speed somewhere check falling uh screen location generate uh, check falling generate this one get lowest no inside the ball uh on trigger on collision it's not even here also is it platform game manager one um add score platform game over reset update okay um so somewhere we actually calculating and checking the speed of the ball 
oh yeah oh yeah i remember now it is under uh gravity inputs so we're controlling the speed depending uh what platform we are it, it, at the moment we're doing in in pc so the, the speed check the speed of the ball is here so as we can see we have only max speed and we uh, applying this one to um velocity x um i would like to do this one to i would like to change max speed to, ch to into two different variables max speed x and max speed y i'm adding by uh, capital X and when I press control dot it gives me a uh, suggestions and if, uh, and just by pressing enter which one is the first suggestion is to change all references from max speed to max speed X by pressing X so whatever variables was here linked we change or every way in the script so if I wanted to change I don't know I don't want to change um, oh sorry 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 yeah. Jesus Christ so do you have a references connected yeah we do so let's say i want to change this one to new variable uh variable variable name control dot enter very quick it changed all the variables in the code for me i don't need to go and chase every variable locations i put that one control z z z z z, z. okay yep good and now I wanted to do a public, public, public float max <coughs> speed y to floating point. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's let's comment it that one also. That's really sim similar similar script copy and paste so instead of x it should be y it should be y and velocity velocity then we should just change this one to also y just let me to copy this one copy yeah 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 and here and uh, then we have a so this one must to go it must to go here okay and uh, so what we're we doing here when we adjusting x we affecting x in new vector free because now we're working with y the x must be the same so rigid 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 body ball uh, velocity dot x so we're saying okay if velocity of y is greater then we're saying um when we're saying don't touch x leave it as it is and only change um velocity of y to the max speed so if it's greater like let's say um what we set up to so let's say it's 2.2 if it's greater yeah it is uh set reset back to two 2.3 reset back to 2 2.1 reset back to 1 you know to and then we keep doing every frame so the ball will should and will never reach more than 2 of uh, velocity same here uh, if velocity is lower than negative 2 means you know it's going down so up is 2 and down is two, also 2 so mean don't touch ridge ball dot velocity dot x oh sorry dot x yeah so don't touch x whatever x was so left right leave it but if it, if it's negative 2.2 no reset back to 2 sorry negative 2 that's why we have a minus in the front okay uh playing with this number uh, numbers if we go back to our manager let's go back to our manager a little bit uh okay so max speed x Two, but max speed y. Um, I want to leave it. What 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 I done there? Um, Ten. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I just left this comment and I forgot about it. Um, what I mean. Must match x ball max ball uh, speed y. And if we look in our game, we set to ten. And this means. 
when our ball can reach maximum speed of falling 10 and our our platforms or in our new case in the new approach our camera will be moving down also at a falling speed of 10. so combining both it will give an impression to the player that the ball is always in the um, 10 percent is always at 10% of the screen. So 10% of the bottom of the screen, the ball will be hanging there. Yeah, because, you know, camera moving 10, the ball is moving 10. Uh, it will be a few seconds. Uh, I already tested with, you know, no platforms and it looks really great, actually. Okay. Uh, next one. What next one? Max speed Y, max speed voice one. Oh, and now we need to a fixed update. So, this will never happen because uh, our platforms is always the same height. So what we need to do is to um, to trigger first one to trigger is to add cam dot um, transform dot position dot y. Okay. So if sometimes uh, I will uh, my really quick advice sometimes it's really hard to get grasp what's happening why is positive dot why not negative what numbers is and i'll be honest with you um then i was writing this code um i think yesterday i always was testing quite a lot and now i'm just looking in the notes exactly what to do but my advice is really simple go debug dot log yeah put this numbers well we can put this one um debug log and we can say um you can say this one platform height is so like comma space let's leave it space then you plus and you give a variable well we know it's a platform get height okay yeah platform dot height then you can say plus again let's give it some text space space because we need to leave it space after this number get a height will return number you don't want to start write text next to the number you know want a few spaces uh, you want to even maybe dash a few spaces and now we'll say uh, new new trigger point point is and again space space uh, space space and again let's plus brackets and let's put all this one yeah yeah, yeah plus this one and let's put in it in, in this one and select comma okay so now i just made very nice text for me in in the logs where we have a platform height is and we get a platform height then we get a new new trigger point is where the platform should end the highest point also plus the camera position now by seeing these two numbers in my logs i can see um i can start investigate yeah why it's not uh, why it's not triggering or what this numbers is actually yeah so i haven't not done this one in that detail what uh, normally what i do because just being lazy um literally just doing something like this no uh, it, it is just literally trying to track uh, exactly numbers so i know the platform heights because i can click them on 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 this one so what what do you do next you uh, the trick you can use also you can you can actually press pause first and then pay, press play that means it will build the game and don't don't start it's already it's built and stops so all the startup etc etc so no the first frame is not rendered so i can go back to scene and i can start you know investigate all the Bobs and bips. Oh, that looks very strange. Let's um, let's start one more time. Oh yeah, that's nice. It was a bit buggy. Uh, it sometimes it gives you a really big screen, uh, sorry, camera vision for for some reason. Sometimes you coming back to what's it called a a, a builder. So yeah, you pause the game and I can click. I can see the height is. The height is, uh, sorry, the platform. The height is minus four. And I can see in um, our console. Turn this somewhere here. Oh, yeah. I can see in the console that each of them is different heights. Um, 
I should put the book this one outside of the loop somewhere here so we don't trigger the same message multiple times put it this way okay save maybe like this yeah nice and yeah stop game pause play yeah looking great looking very great and uh yeah so platform clone is at minus four and the console says we at the moment the trigger point is 9.9 .9. and when i in pause this number will be go down as we go down our camera is actually going down so it's a six already yeah six let's pause the game let's put a game in the corner so you can see small and this is what i want to show you okay so all right okay yeah one more thing before we go you go forward when we generate new platforms it generates only the wind screen size so because this is a half a screen and we multiply by two so we're generating um we generate a number of a platform just around the screen if i wanted to double that one or triple so double would be four because it's halves and a triple would be six yeah let's go i don't know let's go with let's go triple screen yeah three screens distance up and down yeah so now when we start um now when we start this one you'll see much longer line of of our platforms and by trying to play the game uh it's still not work yet but you can see it's if all the platforms stay uh, what's it called all the platform is the same location the difference is that we oh it's a game over um the difference is that um what how to say we the difference is that we camera is moving okay so to make adjustments hold on so we don't debug anymore yeah coming back to original story where i started when you do some trigger points or some variable names sometimes i put some variable names you know and you have you're not really understanding why i'm adding a camera position transform etc take a piece of paper write down the numbers write down calculation it, it's literally just single calculation of heights subtracting so from one to another try to do the bug and pause the game analyze each object write write some message write message here like something like the bug dot log and say um i don't know saying uh, trying trying to move a platform platform yeah trying to move a platform and we can even add a saying platform uh dot name so you uh let's move let's leave a space between these two file uh variables so adding space here you know when we write in, so this is platform dot name will be actually the object name you can see in a hierarchy of unity so uh you can now you can link okay this message is for this game object otherwise you don't know which platform you're trying to move if it makes sense you can even give more information you can give another line like debug log and um you can you can do all the things like you can do like uh, uh, say that plat platform height height sorry height is something something in space and we just give a platform position or oh, to sort of trans transform dot position dot y so now you not only you giving uh, you 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 give a message well i'm trying to move this platform a platform height is this now enabling this one you you will receive a free four messages where the trigger point is i'm trying to move this platform what the height is of platform so you can write quite a lot of the bug in your messages don't be afraid to write a bunch of the messages pause the game and do analysis understand why it's not happening or why the, the game is behaving this way so i'm doing the same even regardless how many years i'm um, coding it's still debugging is one of the best tools in um in a toolbox that coder the developer has 
Okay, so what else is the platform start plus cam dot transform dot position dot y? We need to add here. So we when we reset this this one because our cameras keep moving, our reset platform positioning is keep changing because our cameras keep moving down, and so that means our um, reset platform location is also keep changing. It's keep keep going below and below and below. Okay, so that all should be great. Except one more, one more, very small thing. Top out to game game over. So why we reach top out? Because we fall out somewhere. Okay, um, this is a really strange thing happened uh, last game. Uh, we ha re received the game over uh, when we fall, I think, below. So, yeah. Yeah, again. Okay, that's really good. Let's pause the game. That's really good now. So, I got a message that wall top. It's here. Inspector, top out, yes. Um, I received a game over message coming from, of course, a script. That's all good. Let's stop the game. So let's do analysis a bit here. So we, it doesn't look like it's top out coming from here because top out collision is on the top. I think it's something to do with um, let's see, uh, it's a game manager. Let's find a game over. Game over. Yeah, it's a five references. Okay, okay, yeah, I can see now. So, check the ball is out. Uh, sorry, check ball if it if it not fall out of a screen every second. So, yes, but this is a based on on a on a. This is a based on the fact that the screen is always the same location. So when we're moving with the screen down, this script is actually uh, giving us fa false true, saying, well, you're quite a lot away from 0.0, .0 and is much larger space than the screen. Happy days. But we need to change because platform manager Cameraman, okay, multiply by a free time. Okay, yeah, but we need to add one more thing. So we need to say, we need to put it in the brackets and we need to add platform, platform, plat, no, plat, what, platform, what? Okay, yeah, uh, I can see some misspelling. Um, plat, add. T, control dot, enter. And all the variables are changed for me. Platform manager. So yeah, we need to add a platform, platform manager dot cam dot transform dot Y. So this way, oh, sorry, dot uh, transform dot position dot Y. Yeah. So this way, it, yes, we're checking if the camera, if the ball is free screens, um, if a ball is a free screen uh, distance away from a camera itself, from a camera, uh, sorry, our yeah, camera position. Previously, we just calculated from zero, zero, and we're not taking into account where the camera itself is, because don't forget, we start, we'll start at one billion. And, and we start moving down. So that means the, if we not add it straight away, it will be game over. Now we're saying, okay, is a ball uh, away by the free size of the screen, taking account where the screen is? I hope so. This makes all sense. Yeah, it should make. That's really that clear. And. Uh... A platform yeah we need to we need to bracket out and paste we need to bracket out and paste bracket out and 
oh, sorry, and and paste. Okay, nice. Okay, cool stuff, cool stuff. So now we can start the game. Now you should just start a seeing. I'll I'll try to make it. Oh, game over still. Did we save a game? Yeah, we save. Uh, can we say yeah? Um, taking bold position and and calling game over. Checking bolt position and and calling game over. Nice. So yes, we know it's happening here. So if a bolt position X is greater than oh oh okay 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 uh, we need to add we need to add X's. So the two, first two line is about X. And then the second two lines is about um, y. So I used y uh, to calculate the position of a ball x. So yeah, yeah, okay. Let's try one more time. Looking good, looking good. Okay, well, one thing what I want to, to show you is how we start generating. Yeah, now you can see. So the top, top, oh, don't die, don't die. Don't die, yeah. Top um, platforms is actually, so it was easy points. Top platforms is disappearing and reappearing with a new, um, new gap and all that stuff below the screen and I think we're using quite a good distance. Yeah. Okay. Nearly forgot one more thing. Um we'll ins we'll insert this a small thing. As we talk um we need to start very high number of positioning and start going down. So our main camera with all the balls and etc etc should actually to go into y of 1 billion so uh, nine zeros I think one two three four five six seven eight nine uh, do a float point position in, in limitation is recommended to bring the world credits of a game uh, of a game object within smaller range okay yeah so we are already getting this problem this error so what is a max? What is the maximum you have here? So it is million. Yeah, it's a million. Can we increase to the nine? No, five. No, to one million. To one and a half. Huh. Okay. Yeah. So uh, Unity is already uh, Unity is already advising us to keep its world coordination within one million, and I'm assuming you can go in negative million also but if negative two oh sorry uh negative two yeah so between positive million and negative million um if this is a case let's do a very quick uh calculation uh so one million it's two million uh divided by speed 10 and uh, divided by if it's 200,000 200, seconds, it's equal to 3,033 hours, sorry, minutes, hours. So this game, this game should be played. Hold on, this one, I like it. So this one is more, okay. So this is, I like the answer more. So this game must be played 
55 hours consistently on a maximum speed without any mistakes and you know all this one so 55 hours is literally what well, it's two 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 oh, i can see 2.3 day so consistently without pausing and anything without sleeping nothing um and only and if someone reaches this it just loses precision and uh, i'll do the summary in the end of this video of the theory one more time to clarify you know how i did it also let's not forget to bring uh let's not forget to bring uh, a ball with the camera also so uh when we brought the camera to the positive one million don't forget to bring a, a ball also like to one million free etc yes it, it mounts a bit about it but in the first few seconds we go below uh, one million anyways and now we're facing some interesting things so uh let's leave it at, at uh, one million okay so finally um uh, figure it out um i hope so will not miss anything uh one of the uh, problems when we get a screen location is, is camera main screen to world location. This is a place where we need to get uh, what is the size of, or width of screen is. And a problem is that it returns, uh, let's say your, let's say your screen as previously was, well, we can have a look um, in a console. Uh, it says our screen is negative 2.8 and negative 5 in the minimum and positive 5. So height is 10 units and the width is 5.62, if I'm not no mistaken. The problem was that um, when we move the camera to 1 million, so if we say the height is 10 units, uh, it, re it return that your height is... 1 million 10 or the width is um well the width it was correct because we 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 didn't change anything with x x is still zero we just raised y by 1 million so what we need to do is we we need to subtract a cam dot transform position on line 62 and the line 63 yeah delete a comment here so by doing this one we will get that our screen height is 10 units and the width is 6, uh, 6 point um, 5.62 not doing this one uh, one more time if we not subtract the camera position is uh, the height will be instead of 10 units it will be 1 million 10 that's why we got this really st strange thing when you do this you will have another problem and that problem is here when we create the platform we actually looking where is the camera min so we just find out that our camera min is 10 units so we want to you know uh do this 10 units what we do, we need to add is where the camera actually is because when we create a new platform and yes we know the camera height is 10 units so we want to take you know 10 units plus one so we'll be starting at 10 ish percent of the screen happy days um the first the first like platforms will be 10 or, or 20 because this is half anyways but yeah when we start creating our first platforms at the very start beginning we need to subtract sorry add where is camera actually is so uh that means that we're creating not a 10 percent of a 10 unit we're creating 10 percent uh at 1 million 10 okay uh, by making these adjustments, that's happy days. And uh, when we're creating new platform, we are each time I reset platform, we're giving camera min, camera X. Uh, where's the height? Creating height to get, create platform is. Oh, we just reset platform also, by the way. So in. Uh, I just want to double check we're not doing anything yeah we're already we're already adding here so when we're resetting it we're already already adding the camera position so reset happens 
all, all good with reset. The problem is only when we um, we forgot to adjust when we're creating the platforms at the beginning of the game. So that is done. Next thing, uh, change uh, when we generate walls, we need change from position to a local position, all of them. And the one more tricky thing, when we done local position, change the Z, Z to one. You want to bring this wall in the front of the camera, uh, not behind the camera. So if you leave it zero, you will be not seeing the side walls. And uh, it was really interesting how the unit treated if we leave a global position, but for local position. Oh yeah, now it makes sense. If you leave it zero, because this this pro this game object is a child of the camera. If you leave it at zero, then that means the camera, this wall will be generated in in the same location of a Z axis as a camera. So camera will be not rendering because it's not in the vision. So that's why we brought a Z by one. It means goes a one unit in the front of a camera, and the camera will re will it will it the camera will render it. Okay, so by doing all this small bits, I'll slowly show a few things. So let's start at the beginning. I slowly scroll all this. So feel free to pause and double check. Double check if something is something is changed comparing to yours. I've been side scroll. Yeah, it should be all, all straightforward. So let's save and let's have a give a go now. Okay. So all good, works good. We generated all the walls. We can see side walls. The bouncing, bouncing is really good, actually. Um, it looks like it looks and feels realistic. And we now we have a full control of uh, max speeds and uh, gravity and other things. Um, I'm planning next lesson, actually, to... Uh, what's it called? To transfer all this, what we've done. It was a promise I'll try to do, make very shorter. Uh, much more shorter video to transfer all this what we've done today into Android and we do testing there of course I'd, I'll do pre-test before video so maybe I will capture some some few issues and some bugs what we need to adjust in our script so yeah okay game over looks great all the platforms keep uh, keep uh, moving let's go for our next I think that's it for today's lesson is all um, all I want to show for today I wanted to very quick um, to show to talk about two more things well um, it's not new things so first of all I, I would like to sh uh, to um, recap and play back why we why we done and what what's the reason behind of the logic what, what we done this because i not really feel confident how i explained it at the beginning so i'll, I'll run really quick a, a summary um if you if you pick it up if you understood and pick it up from beginning you can skip this place and also i will be sharing one of the videos actually one of the subscribers send it to me with the progress so yeah a few seconds of fame famous for him Right, so let's go back to the paint, our trustful paint, uh, paint, and I'll try to talk one more time to actually, oh, I'll try to talk one more time a reason behind why we're doing this, why, why we did this today, and why we do other things okay if 
platforms and a ball. Let's make it this way. Yeah, happy days. So the number reason one, which is uh, is is just um, let's let's put my uh, let's put the mindset correct direction. So reason number one, the most important reason is the the platforms is moving up. Camera is camera is stationary and the ball is moving down. After the ball hits the platform, it bounces up and we set up originally by 80% of the bounces. So it reached 80% of its height originally came down. Plus friction and all that physics if you add wind, etc. etc. So the ball goes down and jumps up. But because the platform is moving up also, then the game reaches a certain a certain level and the platform start moving up very fast. As you saw as example, the ball the ball literally just drops down and sticks to the platform. It didn't it jumped up, but the platform is moving up at the same speed or faster, making look like a ball is just literally flat flat out on a platform. To uh, yeah. So that's number one. Second problem, which one could be sorted in in many ways, was um, as the platform moving up using one thread, and a C, uh, and the physic engine is calculating by other engine. Camera is stationary, by the way. Oh. So camera camera is always stationary. At, what the hell? Yeah, camera is stationary. So because of two different threads and um, all all other animalities of calculation depending CPU speed etc etc even though we use the fixed update uh, we, we, yeah we can uh, we can uh, tackle this problem with increased um, what's it called physics engine calculation but that will be performance eating is still a lot of things is happening behind the screen then you moving your platforms up and the ball is dropping down and it's in two different calculation uh, you know sequence it's sometimes possibility that the ball uh, when the physics engine will be calculating the ball will be already within platform and it doesn't classify as entering is it's already with the object so what i'm trying to say is in a certain speeds and a certain spikes of performance etc etc i believe you already test your game and you saw uh, occasionally where the ball was just passing through the platform about bouncing back and may, yes we left the, um, all the physics engine default settings so if you have not changed anything you should see this anomaly and this oh, this this problem is just a secondary the first problem i explained previously uh, is is a main main issue why we today addressing uh, and implementing a new approach. But this new approach will sort a second problem, which one I just showed also. And the new approach is we, instead of we moving platforms up, we'll be moving a camera view down. Uh, platforms will be stationary. Platforms will be stationary and a ball will be moving down also. Uh, this allows the physics engine to calculate all the bounciness from a stationary solid object in a, in, in a path. Uh, so it should not, I just still saying should because always something possible, um, but it should not, um, we should not see any animalities and the, and the ball should always, you know, to jump back. Only one difference is, uh, as I said previously, uh, if you have a world and the object is moving, it could always reach the very high numbers of the positioning. So the, the thumb, what's it called? Thumb up rule is you leave it to your player all the time at the zero zero location of the world, and you move the world in a direction it you know the player is actually moving. So if the player wants to move this direction, you just move the world opposite, and it gives illusion that you're moving. It's something like flying games, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. and. Um, the problem is that if you're like etc flying simulator or flying in a galaxy your speed is massive like 500 per second etc etc and um, this is a problem because 
Unity can store your positioning X, Y, Z in um, as a float. And the float float has a range from negative, sorry, from positive to something, something. I'll just round up to 2 billion, 2 billion and negative 2 billion. Which one is, uh, which one is a range of 4 billion? Uh, we we done some calculation if a ball speed uh, sort not ball but camera speed going down is around 10 which one is very fast actually um, if the camera goes uh, by speed 10 down um, it takes around 4,000 days um, to you know to reach from neg positive 2 billion to negative 2 billion so it's quite a loss 10, 10 by the way speed 10 per second not per frame so uh we forgot to address this lesson but uh i'll address this one next lesson so we will move our starting point at 1 billion and call a day i don't think so anyone if anyone will be playing game more than i don't know 2000 days i'll, I'll as a developer I'll, first of all I'll be very happy second what's happened uh what will be happen if a player reach this number and it goes up so float float has a, a certain decimal point uh, unity using a certain number of de de decimal places. Um, if the number goes above range, it it should it start cutting off some decimal points, and your object start moves in less precise precision because your float is too huge and can't fit in. Uh, in that case, you will start seeing a small vibration of your object. You need to do another four, five, another four billion to actually start seeing some, uh, you know, um, what's it, how to say, some some errors and issues with the game because why why the camera starts shaking? Well, the camera starts shaking because its position is still going down and is rounding up, um, you know, numbers and starts shakes up and down. Please take this information uh, and test if you yourself if one because this problem uh, with Unity was back to 2017 I have never again tested that one and don't know if maybe they change it into uh, in, from float they change it into double or something long long whatever one of them um, and that is much higher number it can fit I have not tested I don't think the unity is actually applied this one because it will be just memory consuming yeah so this summary I hope it clarifies even more what, why and what exactly we've done today. Here we can see one of, uh, one of the subscribers sent a video of a progress of the game he creating. Um, I can see he changed a scoring sprites, uh, leaving the same explosion sprites. Uh, it's very well done and Fun fact, sometimes you're watching someone else's game and it looks much smoother or even better physics engines. Uh, sometimes I'm questioning myself why, but uh, happy to see someone is actually uh, following this tutorial. So yeah, if you have something to share, please, you can uh, leave a comment and uh, or leave a link to your uh, progress. And same if you have uh, questions or you get stuck in somewhere, leave a comment and I'll try to cover this uh, in the next video. Thank you everyone and uh, see you next time. And